What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this week's edition of the Twilight Nine card. This week we have the RBC Heritage, pretty tough after the Masters usually to get a good field, but this week it's pretty damn good. So let's jump into the card. First one up is gonna be Will Zalatoris for a top 10 plus 250. Backing up his runner up finish at the Masters last week is gonna be pretty tough, but I think this kid's really determined to earn his way onto the PGA Tour. He doesn't even have status yet. He's one of the best ball strikers on tour, if not the best outside of Colin Morikawa. He hits a lot of fairways and can roll in a lot of putts when he gets hot. In his last 24 rounds, Will is fifth in approach, 26th off the tee, eighth in ball striking, ninth tee to green, all of that. I love that. If he makes a lot of putts this week, Will's gonna have a really good week, maybe even win the golf tournament. Top 10, Will's Alatoris plus 250. Going to a top 20 for this next one, Matthew Fitzpatrick plus 125. This kid has been playing some serious golf. Going back to the Genesis Invitational, here are his finishes. T5, T11, T10, T9 at the players, and T34 last week at the Masters. He's still looking for his first PGA Tour victory, and I think this week makes a lot of sense. Shorter golf course, iron play emphasize, and he can roll it on the greens. Over his last 24 rounds, he's ninth in strokes game putting, 15th off the tee, and 20th tee to green. In 2020 and 2018, he finished T14 here. I really like Fitzy this week, top 20, plus 125. Going to a guy that's hurt us a lot in the past, to be honest, and that's Abraham Answer for a top 20 plus 140. He was the runner-up last year to Webb Simpson at the RBC Heritage, which really isn't that big of a surprise. This golf course, all about accuracy. He's second in fairways and regulation and 14th in greens of regulation. That's pretty damn good. And the greens of regulation number is huge. The greens this week at RBC Heritage are a lot smaller than the tour average, so hitting them in regulation is gigantic. A lot of birdie opportunities. Since his miscut at the Genesis, has a couple top 25s, a top 20, and last week at the Masters, T26. In his last 24 rounds, he's 12th in strokes gained approach and 19th T to green. Hopefully, he can pull through. I don't know. We've lost a lot of money on this man. Hopefully, we win one. If he doesn't, he's in the he's in the doghouse, to be honest. Top 20, Abraham Answer, plus 140. Going to a guy that has found leaderboards for the last month or so, this kid is playing incredible golf. Corey Connors, top 20 for plus 150. In his last four stroke play events, his finishes are third, seventh at the players, T14, T8 at the Masters. Last year at this event, he was T21. In his last 24 rounds, Connors is third in strokes hand approach, third off the tee, first in ball striking, second tee to green, and second total. That's pretty damn good. I really like this pick this week. Corey Connors, top 20 for plus 150. And the last one, another guy that's been kind of creeping up leaderboards here for the past month, and that's going to be Siwoo Kim for a top 20 plus 185. He had a win earlier in the season at the American Express. His last three stroke event finishes, T9 at the players, T23, T12 at the Masters. He had a runner-up finish back here in 2018, so he's shown that he can play this golf course. In his last 24 rounds, he's 14th in strokes gain approach and 13th strokes gain T to green. And for a guy that usually struggles on the green sometimes, he's gained a stroke or more in three of his last four events. I really like that. He's putting pretty well. The rest of his game looks pretty damn good. Siwoo Kim, top 20, plus 185. Now a couple winner picks. The first one, Will Zalatoris. He's still looking for status on the PGA Tour. Just doesn't have it yet. I think he's definitely using that as motivation. And this week, especially at a golf course that emphasizes ball striking, I love Will Zalatoris this week. Second one, Matty Fitzpatrick. He's won on the European Tour six or seven times. Does not have a PGA Tour victory. This golf course is perfect for him. Iron player can roll the hell out of the golf ball on the greens. I really like Fitzy this week too. And that's it, guys. That's the card for the RBC Heritage. Enjoy the golf this weekend, and I will talk to you guys next week.